Hello class. This video is a uh, is number seven in chapter four, the magic act. Uh, the magician is going to perform a levitation illusion where he points his wand at an object and then the object raises up and then lowers back down. Um, it says to raise the assistant uh, one height and the bunny, which is not seen because it's hidden inside this hat. Um, a different height because it's lighter. So what we need to do is create a method that accepts two parameters, a parameter that is an object and then a parameter that is a number. The object parameter will be the will store the object and the number parameter will store the height. Alright so I've already got the scene set up to save some time in the video um, but you should have uh, some experience now with setting up scenes so you should should be able to do this. Um, so, a couple of things. I had to make the bunny rabbit uh, half the size that it comes in at because the hat that it's supposed to be in uh, is a little bit was about the, it was much smaller than the rabbit. So I made the rabbit half the size, so now it fits into the hat. Also, so that the wand you can't really see it, but there it is right there. I have it just kind of sitting in his hand. His hands are flat, open. Um, and I just have it, you know, just adjacent to the hand. And then I have the uh, property, the vehicle property set to that hand. So that way, once the arm moves and the hand moves with it, the wand will also follow uh, so that you don't have to make a separate animation to have that move as well. All right. So let's get started. It wants us to do a world method. So to do a world method, um, we need to have the world selected in the object tree and then you're going to go down to create new method I'm going to call my method raise object hit OK I'm going to have, we have to have two parameters as I mentioned so this first one is going to be an object parameter I'm going to call this object to raise um, pick something that makes sense um, that might be a little bit too long I might have abbreviated it OBJ maybe the number two and then raise to make it a little bit smaller but I wanted to you know, spell it out completely so that you can see exactly what it's supposed to be alright so I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to do a second parameter and that parameter is going to be height and that will be a number type All right, so now we have our method set up and now we need to do the animation for the magician raising his hand and uh, levitating the object and then having it come back down so the first thing we need to do is uh, if you think about it logically the magician should turn to face whatever object he's going to raise so I'm going to click magician over here in the methods I'm going to find turn to face and I'm going to drag that into the window and I'm going to face uh, well so we want it to face the object um, normally when you right click you can just pick any object that's existing in the world but we have to go down to expressions for your parameters so just go down to expressions and click object to raise so now he will face whatever object we pass to it alright so after that we need him to raise his arm and I've already played with this um, to figure out which motion is appropriate for him to raise his arm. I have it set to his right arm. So I'm going to go to Magician. I'm going to expand it in the object tree, find his right arm, and then you see it's highlighted there. Uh, so we need to, in this case, it is turn. So you, depending on what object you have, you'll have to play around with it. It could be roll and even inside turn it could be either left right forward or back you just have to play with it because all the objects were created differently so I'm gonna grab right arm turn I'm gonna drag it below the first action and I know that it's left and I'm gonna do a quarter revolution because we just I'm just gonna have the arm turn um, from being straight down to horizontal with the ground instead of in the uh, problem has it point to the object However, uh, I've been teaching this class for three years, or three semesters, I should say, 
and I have yet to find a method that works correctly uh, where the arm points at the object and moves with it. So instead I'll just have the the um, arm you know just raise up 90 degrees, have the object levitate, the object will then lower and then he'll just lower his arm. So <clears throat> All right, so we've got the magi magician turned to face the object. We've got him to rotate his hand up. Now we need to levitate the object. So since we're going to, um, normally you would find your object in the tree and then drag it into the window. But because this is going to be one of the parameters that we want to levitate, we're just going to grab that from right here, drag it into the window, let go. Uh, we're going to have it uh, move, and we need to move it up. And we need to do, instead of picking a number, we want it to be height. So you need to go down to Expressions and select the Height parameter. All right, so now the object to raise will move up so many meters. Whatever we pass to it, if we pass it the, um, the girl and then a height of 2, she will move up to 2 meters. All right, so there's uh, one more thing we have to do here because... Um, our assistant is laying down. When we say move up, you know, we might think that it would still move straight up in the air. However, because the way move works is based on the orientation of the object, her orientation is laying down, so actually up is going to be uh, to the left here. So what we need to do is set an option to as seen by crown. Uh, in the island example from chapter one, or it might have been chapter two, you have to set the fish to you know go in a circle based on as seen by the island. And that way you can get it to move exactly in a circle around the island. In this case, we're going to have it move straight up in the air as seen by the ground. So straight up from the ground is how this object will move. So no matter what its orientation is, you could turn her any which way or any object that you pass to it any which way and it will go straight up in the air if you have that set correctly. Okay, so now we need to, let's just have it wait a couple of seconds. So down here on the bottom, we're going to grab wait. I'm going to set it to two seconds. So the object raises, then it levitates, you know, kind of levitate in there for a couple of seconds. So now we just need to read we need to do these actions in opposite um, order. Um, so we want the object to lower, so I'm going to make a copy of that, drag it down below. Uh, I'm going to set object to raise, drag it over top of that. I'm going to do the height right there. So it's going to be, instead of move up, we're going to move it down. All right, so that's set. And now we need to lower the magician's arm. So I'm going to right click that, make copy. I'm going to drag that down to the bottom. So instead of turning left, we want it to turn right. And quarter revolution is still good. Okay, so let's see what that does. Oh, never mind. Um, what we need to do is um, that's our method that, that's going to do the action. So we need, we need to call that action in our, in our my first method. Um, or you need to set here change it to raise object but I don't want to do that I want my method to be called from this method so what you do is you go to the world you find your method raise object and drag it into the window once you let go it's going to ask you to set the parameters it already recognizes that there's two parameters so object to raise um, we want it to do the girl first and the entire girl and then it go ahead, it, it automatically just goes straight to the second parameter of height. And see, we're going to raise her one meter. All right. Now we need to do the bunny rabbit. So the bunny rabbit, um, we're going to get the raise object, drag it into the window again. This time we're going to set up the bunny, the entire bunny, and a height this time of two because it says the bunny, being lighter, should move up higher. So now let's see how that plays out. Magician turns, raises the girl, she lowers back down, he lowers his arm. Bunny Rabbit went up even further. Okay, good. 
All right, so that's essentially all you need to do. I'm going to add a couple of things to it just to make it a little bit, you know, uh, I would say a little bit more efficient. So I'm going to do a do together, drag it into the window, and I'm going to move that up here. And I'm going to put these two actions in the do together. I want it, the object to be raised as he's, as he's right, raising his arm. And I'm going to do the same thing for the lowering part. Okay. Now I want him to, at the end, I want him to turn and face the camera. So let's go to Magician. We're going to turn to face, drag it in the bottom, face the camera. Now let's see how that plays out. He turns the face. There, he raised his arm. She raised. Raised. Lowered his arm. She lowered. Same thing for the rabbit. And he turns to face the camera. And there you have it. That's it. Uh, you can um, set this scene up um, in any one of the environments. Um, what's more, what's important is that you have the actions as shown here. Um, make sure you have your method uh, called um, from your you, you'll have the method you created to raise your object called from your my first method because we're gonna have to do it twice um, I've seen a couple of instances where somebody has written their entire method up here when the world starts to do this that's not the way you, you're supposed to do it you make you write your methods here and then when the world starts you call the method rather than write code here so anyways I hope this helps and be looking for the next video um, when you start the next chapter thanks